So I sign this and we're done. Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, the ADA agreed to it, so you sign it, and then, um, and then the judge will sign it. And then, then we're done. <sighs> Community service and a fine. You sound disappointed. No. No, I, I appreciate it. It's just... It could have been so much worse. I thought my life was over. I'm such an asshole. Hey, Liam. It's okay to feel relief. Chung family doesn't blame you. Nobody blames you. Do you remember what you said the other day about getting high? <laughs> um, why are you asking me that? I was high. What? How could you not tell us that? Because Harvey said not to. But you said you weren't drunk. You said ask everyone. You could have. I was alone. I get high all the time and no one ever knows. Oh my god. What's the matter? You said this was a done deal. It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a done deal. We got a huge problem. Don't worry, Mike. I'm sure NSYNC will tour again someday. We can't submit this deal because it wasn't an accident. It was a DUI. What? He was stoned. This changes everything. Changes nothing. I misrepresented the facts to Katrina. No, you didn't. Because you didn't know. Because we didn't ask. And I didn't ask now, but he told me now. And that's privileged. And the deal is done. Wait a minute. So you're not going to do anything? I'm gonna have Donna messenger this to the DA's office. Harvey, this family thinks their son is to blame. Because he was fleeing the scene of a crime which put him in harm's way. Okay, maybe, but if I don't tell them this part, then I'm no different than Nick Rinaldi. You're already different. What do you mean? I mean, they were ready to take the $20,000, but you gave them 100. You think I wasn't gonna find out about that? Harvey, please, come on. You asked me to be on this case after I warned you about something like this. You said, I'm on board. Do you have any idea what would happen if Jillian found out what you did? What if she found out about her son? She'd probably give them a bigger settlement. But hey, you already did that, and I let it go. You need to let this go. Say whatever you want. That's no different than Nick Rinaldi. That's just more money and cleaner shoes. Oh my god, you're waiting. I heard you were here, so I rushed right out. I formally accept your offer of employment at Pearson Hardman. This is the best week ever. I won't let you down. I'm sorry. I have no idea what this is regarding, but yes, he will. He always does. Water off a snail's back. See what I mean? Donna Paulson, Maria Monroe, my personal first year. Oh. She's a machine. And let me just tell you something. She's going to run circles around Mike Ross. You wait right here. I'm going to get us some bunk cake. I'm sorry. Mike who? Mike Ross. Is he a first year? Why do you ask? I thought you only hired from Harvard. We do. I was secretary of my class. I knew every name. There was no Mike Ross my year at Harvard. But you weren't the same year. No, I clerked for a year. He's a year ahead of me here, but he would have been in my class. Oh, well, Mike clerked for three years, which means he wasn't in your class. Well, I look forward to meeting him. Uh, last night, I was, uh, I was driving home. I'd had a lot to drink. I hit someone. And I'm pretty sure that they're dead. So, uh, I need your help. Sorry, I don't take cases like that. You don't take cases like that? What about your case from 1992? Driver plows into a car after drinking about a thousand Jack and Cokes, killing a happily married couple, James and Nina Ross. I'm afraid I have no recollection of that. Oh, yeah? Let me ring a bell for you, then. Two days later, you walk into their living room, you find their little boy and his grandmother just sitting there, and then you stick it to them. They hadn't even had time to hold a wake yet. Are you still going to deny it? I didn't deny it. Just have no recollection of it because I did it so many times. 
I'm sorry, is that supposed to move me? Huh? Am, am I supposed to think that you're somehow above all that now? It's not supposed to do anything. But let me point out, you walked in here two minutes ago, told me you'd hit somebody, and I turned you away. What's your name? Like you give a shit. Okay. What are you looking for from me? I want to know how you live with yourself. I want to know how you wake up every morning and not put a bullet in your brain knowing what a piece of shit you are. You might not want to hear this. But just because I don't remember who you are doesn't mean I don't regret what I did to you. But the sad fact is that once a deal is done, it can't be undone. James and Nina Ross. If I ever see you again, you better remember who they are. Thank you.